you have to try this if you own a Polaroid camera. Because, being honest, after shooting hundreds of Polaroids, they too can get a bit boring. So let's change that by transferring a Polaroid to glass. To begin with, you first need a black and white Polaroid. It doesn't matter if you use a 100 or 600 speed film, as long as you use original Polaroid film. Sadly, it doesn't work with Instax. In my case, I decided to take a photograph of this old camera on the white background. Remember, everything that's white in your image will later be transparent. After letting the image develop for around about 10 minutes, it's time for the next step. Make sure you don't wait any longer than 10 to 15 minutes or it won't work. First, start by using a knife to cut off the edges. When you're finished with the sides, cut open the bottom like this. After that, cut through the two black stripes to the right and left of the Polaroid. Now comes the tricky part, separating the front from the back. Do that by bending the front and very, very slowly separate the back. The only thing left to do is to cut it off like that. Now you could just stick this transparency on some glass and call it done. But I want to take it a bit further. I continued by cutting off the frame of the transparency using a pair of scissors. After that, you put the Polaroid into some warm water. After a few seconds, you'll see the image starting to wrinkle. Use a soft brush and your fingers to separate the image from the plastic. You can throw away the plastic part and are left behind with your image floating in water. Now you want to bring a piece of glass under the floating image. In my experience, it works a bit better using clear acrylic or some piece of plastic rather than real glass. However, fixing the image to the glass is a bit tricky. The easiest way is to start with the edges and then try to get everything straight by merging only the parts in the water that are still crooked. When everything is situated the way you want, you can put away the image to dry. While your image is drying, it may wrinkle quite a bit. In that case, just carefully straighten it out using your fingers. And that's it. If you need some more Polaroid inspiration, you can watch the videos on screen now. Until then, see you next week.